Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another video here. Today we're going to be doing kind of part two of my little DRK Nails mix along that I did maybe a month or a month and a half ago at this point. And I will link that up in the cards up in the upper right hand corner for you guys. And in that video I talk a lot more detail about what was in this kit as well as like going over the instructions. Uh, today I'm going to skip that part because like, you know, that's like the boring part. Nobody cares about that. We're just going to mix up a few nail polishes and I just figure we could have like a chill more relaxed time this time hopefully because last time was a little chaotic but I just figured I just want to chat I just want to hang out I have had I don't know just a week like just a week you know trademark a week and it's just uh, I just feel like garbage so I just want to hang out and I want to chat and I want to have fun so that's what we're gonna do today so last time we did three polishes, so today we're just gonna do three more. And what I have left from this kit, here's all the pigments. So all of these over here are like the reflective glitters. I don't wanna put too much reflective glitters into these polishes, cause we went kinda heavy with them last time and I'm like, you know, whatever, I'm kind of bored of that. Um, but we do have this 5D magnetic ribbon. It says teal blue, purple, pink. And I want to use that. We have a glow in the dark pigment. And I have a feeling, it says it's a peachy red. I have a feeling this is not going to tint the base enough. So I did pull out this really obnoxious traffic cone orange. And uh, this is a stamping polish. So maybe we can mix some of this into the base and get maybe a color we like. This is Conad brand stamping polish. Um, and I believe this one is called Psych Orange, but None of these were actually labeled, oh, well, none of these were actually labeled when I got them, and um, this one's no longer labeled now, so, well, goodbye to you. And then, I have this thermal lilac slash blue eggplant. Is it blue eggplant? I don't know, but I figured that will be fun, and then I have this Aurora candy, which I believe is just like a shimmer. And it says it's teal blue pink. So I thought maybe we could stick that into the thermal and see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen. This could be terrible. It could be the worst idea ever, but we're going to try it. And then I do have these uh, like really light flakes. I used them last time and I don't know if I just didn't use enough or they were just obscured by the base. So I don't know if I'm going to use those again. I'm making like I can see them flying everywhere. So the package is probably open. Um, and in, in the magnetic, I might put some glitter but we'll see I haven't decided what color reflective glitter I want to use until I see this like fully mixed into the base and of course I'm already covered in glitter so like last time to start we need to do 10 10 milliliters of suspension base and hopefully we have enough for three polishes we'll see so let's drop that in there and let's just, I don't know, let's chat about fun stuff because my job is annoying me and my life is annoying me and I just want to have a good time right now. So like I remember, I don't know if any, everybody remembers like live journal and stuff, but when I was younger I had like a live journal and people would always post like this is what I'm drinking, this is what I'm eating, this is what I'm listening to, this is what I'm doing, you know. Just little like fact sheets about themselves and I always loved reading that about other people so I guess that's kind of kind of what I want to do, but I'm not sure. I just figured I'd tell you like what I'm reading, what I'm watching, all that kind of stuff. Maybe you guys can suggest some stuff in that vein for the books and, and all that and we'll go from there. And this is the 5D Magnetic Ribbon, by the way. And it says to start with like half of it and go from there. But let me just start with, oh, I thought I was going to fling that everywhere. What I've been reading lately. So I've been reading a ton more, which like I used to read a lot when I was younger. I feel like this is the case for a lot of people. It's like, oh, I used to, oops, that is two thirds of it. Whoops. I used to read a lot as a kid. And then as I got older, you know, I stopped having time. I think it was probably when I got into college is around the time I just didn't have as much time to read for fun because I was either reading for classes or I was, um, just studying a bunch because I, I went to school for a language so like half my life is just studying constantly 
Oh yeah, I did, I did not need that much pigment. Um, but lately I've been trying to make an effort to read. And so on the days that I'm in the office, especially on my lunchtime, I will read because nothing can interrupt me. Um, because when I try to read at home, my boyfriend just talks and talks and talks and talks and talks and talks and talks. So I decided to start reading on my lunch break. And I just read, I read like 9 million thrillers and now I'm over it. I, I've read too many thrillers in a row. I just got sick of it. And so I'm like, let me read something better. Let me read something a little bit more like not predictable. And so I... My brother's girlfriend lent me some of her books, and I read Crazy Rich Asians pretty quickly. Uh, I really liked it. I watched the movie on, I think, like, on the plane once, and I really did enjoy it. But I read the book, and it is not the same. It is definitely, like, there's stuff that is similar, but it was very different. I feel like... You know, the movie was tongue-in-cheek a little bit. The movie was, like, definitely a comedy, but it was more of a romantic comedy. And I think that the book was way more like... I think these... One of these two. Um, the book was way more like a... Uh, like a... Almost like a parody. Uh, which I think is what... You know, that's what the author, I'm pretty sure, wanted. So now this is magnetic. I'm just going to keep interrupting myself. I have a feeling. Let's see. Oh, that, that's cool. Okay, I think we should do the black reflective glitter in there. Um, but yeah, so I thought that actually I really preferred the book to the movie, which is pretty common, I think, for most people. Most people like the books more for almost anything. But sometimes when you see the movie first and then you read the book, you, you have the opposite effect. So I was pleasantly surprised, I guess, that... I liked the movie quite a or the book quite a bit. And then now I'm reading um, Crying in H Mart by Michelle Zahner, who is Japanese breakfast, if you're not familiar. She's a half Korean, half uh, Caucasian woman who uh, she is like the front man for the front woman for is that too much? Probably for <laughs> Japanese breakfast. And if you've never listened to them, uh, it's very chill vibes. It's very, like, relaxing, a little bit sad sounding, but I really like it. Um, and this book is about, it's, it's awful, dude. It's, I, I can't even get through, like, five pages without crying. Um, just her life, and it's like a memoir of when her mother got diagnosed with cancer and then died, and basically how she was handling that and trying to help her mother and all that. It's really sad. It's hard to read. Um, just because, I mean, it's like literally somebody talking about their mother dying. <laughs> like, So it's not easy, but let's see. Should we put more reflective in there? Maybe just a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so I've been reading that. I'm about halfway through it. And it's really sad, but just talking about kind of how she connects with her mother, even through their turmoil in her youth and her culture as well, through the food and like the food that she would eat with her mother and things like that. And so it talks about a lot of different like Korean food and things like that. Um, and it's, I recommend it a lot, even if you don't know anything about her band or like her music career, you don't really need that going into this book. And it is, it is a wonderful, wonderful written book. And also, I mean, this wasn't even intentional, but I read two, two books written by Asian authors in the month of May, which is AAPI month, Asian American and Pacific Islander month. And some people do try to, you know, move their books or read certain books in certain months when it comes to like certain movements and causes and, and months and things like that. And so I think, oh my Lord. I think that if you are interested, you know, now is the time to pick something like that up. I think that this is, well, I should probably test it on my nail first, huh? This is the one with like the super wonky brush, but we're going to have to make do. Let's see. But yeah, I'm like literally like, ooh, little thin. Let's see. 
Maybe with two coats this will be okay. Oh, I just like flooded my cuticle. That's the thing with these reflective glitters is they feel so much like uh, sand going onto your nail. And it's like pretty gritty. But I know some people say they're hard to remove. I find they're pretty easy to remove, but I use like 100% acetone. So maybe that helps. All right, I'm gonna let that dry down a little bit and then apply a second coat and then see if we need to add a bit more of this uh, magnetic pigment. Okay, so I put the second coat on and then when I magnetized it, it pulled all the color out and then you can kind of see through to my nail. So I'm just gonna do, you know, the traditional Hillary thing and put the rest of this in and just say it's fine. Cause who cares? This is just for fun. Ooh, that looks fun. But yeah, so that's what I've been reading. I have another, I have another book that I want to read next. What is it? It's another, it's another book by another Asian author. I, that was not even intentional. I just, I guess that's what I'm drawn to recently. It's called Pachinko. Um, and that one I believe is by a Korean author. And it's funny, my boyfriend and I, we went, we went on like a little date. We went like shopping and out to eat. And then we went to the bookstore and I saw that book on the, the like end of the shelf and I was like, oh, I really want to read that. And um, he's like, why? And I was like, well, I heard it's this really sad book about like uh, intergenerational like Korean family. And he's like, Hillary, why are you always got to read all this sad shit? <laughs> he gets mad because all I do is read and watch and consume like super sad media. And he's like, you want to know why you're sad all the time? It's because all you do is watch depressing stuff on TV. And I was like, yeah, but it's so good. He doesn't get it. Like he, he won't. He won't consume, like, sad media. He only likes, like, I don't even know what he likes, to be honest. Weird stuff. That made the polish a lot smoother and definitely more opaque on that first coat. So I have a feeling it will definitely be <laughs> opaque on the second coat. But you can see it does make... Oh, it still pulls away to that black. But, I don't know, maybe I guess... I don't mind a, a little bit of a jelly effect. It's cool. Let me let that dry a little bit and then I'll do the second coat and then we can decide. Not like I have any more pigment left, so who knows what we're gonna do. Okay, yeah, with that second coat and then when you magnetize it, here, oh, geez, too close, Hillary. I feel like you can't really see my visible nail line as much. I know I did like a terrible job doing that, but, um, and it's way less gritty with all the rest of that pigment mixed in. So let's fill the bottle. I don't even know what to name this one. I just, uh, I like magnetics in theory, but, uh, oh, Hillary, chill out. Um, I don't know. I just don't have the patience for them half the time because um, I, I can't get the magnet to hold no matter how long I like wait for it to dry. And I don't know if it's supposed to kind of naturally disperse. I read that some people buy like, um, magnetic top coat or not like a like not a top coat that is magnetic but one that's specifically made for magnetics you get what i'm saying so if anybody has experience with one of those and does it work well or even if it works bad like let me know because i want to know more about that sort of a thing and know if it's worth it should i throw some money into one because i have some magnetics that are so beautiful like i bought that that cirque one firecracker that red Kind of with like the tiger's eye look to it and i want to wear it more because it's really pretty but um i'm bad at magnetics so there's a lot of things in this world that i think oh nobody could be bad at that and then of course i'm bad at it so i don't know let's see is that all of it that i can get all right let's see here oops this is going to be a fun one to clean up And this amount that I do, it only fills because her instruction said to do 10 milliliters. And I think that these bottles are supposed to be 15, um, but it looks like they're like 20. So I don't know. But let us close this guy up, shake it up, and it looks pretty cool. Um, if we put the, whoa, look at that. Looks like a, like a nebula. A little bit. Actually, I have no idea what a nebula is. I shouldn't have said that. That was really bold for someone who knows nothing about anything. Um, what is a nebula? Okay, 
Yeah, I mean, I googled nebula. I don't know if these are actually nebulas. Looks like it. Looks like it could be a nebula. We'll call this one something to do with nebula. I haven't decided yet. You guys can help me name these in the comments just like last time. I took, from the last time, I took a couple of the names that people recommended and I, I used those because they were better than anything I could come up with. <laughs> so let me clean up this space and then we will move on to the second polish. Okay, so for number two, let's do a thermal. And then I think I want to put this shimmer in. But this, they have a good combo thing here. So it says thermal, solar. It looks like, yeah, you can put shimmer in there. It says magnetics and neons don't work well with thermal. So, but it says start with half the bag. Well, we saw how that went last time. So, all right, let's fill this guy up again. Um, I don't know, what else have I been doing? I have been rewatching Breaking Bad. Not a lot of new TV shows. I just, I don't know, I get stuck on like a couple shows and then I'm like obsessed with those for a really long time. Then I find a new show or I just rewatch the X-Files. So what can you do? Um, all right, let's get this. This bag like busted open in transit a little bit, but... That's why I put it in another bag. A bag in a bag. Okay. Hopefully this adds enough pigment to where it colors the base here. Ooh, that went everywhere. Um, I'm going to breathe this in. Oh, it's like, it's almost like clay. Let's see. Ooh, I'm going to, I have a feeling something's going to get spilled by the end of this. This one's like really thick. Like, do you see that? It's like, um, it's almost like flour. Yeah, like flour. All right, that's probably half the bag. Um, let's use the big side as our scooping end. And then the small side as our stirring end. Um, but yeah, so not a lot of new TV. I do want to go to the movies though. I haven't been to the movies in a long time. And there's that movie, Everything Everywhere All at Once, that people have been talking about. But I almost thought, oh, I should go see it by myself. But then I'm like, I heard it's really sad. So I'm like, do I really want to be, like, sobbing in a movie theater alone like a weirdo? Careful, Hillary. Um, but, like, yeah. So I'm not sure. I Honestly, I just want to eat movie popcorn. And I wanted to go see that, that Viking movie. Um, I forgot what it's called already. But it's by that director who did, like, The Witch and stuff like that. And I like a lot of that guy's stuff. So I thought maybe I'd go check it out. But then it, like, didn't do well in the box office. So I'm like, eh, do I? But then I'm like, do I really trust the public's opinion on what is good? And the answer is absolutely not. So let's see. This is probably not going to be dark enough yet. But it doesn't hurt to check. Yeah, that's more like a jelly right now. So it'll like thicken up a little bit in the second coat, but you know, I, I don't even know what, who I'm fooling. I'm going to end up putting this whole bag in anyways. So <laughs> let's just, let's just get out of the way now. I'm not usually like this. Like usually I'm a big directions follower. I'm like, oh, we have to follow it to a T. But like with this, I'm just like, yeah, who cares? Let's just do it. If it gets messed up, it's fine. But yeah, what else have I watched? I don't, oh, I watched, um, that documentary last night on Netflix that's called Our Father. And it's about that doctor who, he was like a fertility doctor. And he was using his own specimen to impregnate the women, whether they were like using a donor or like their husbands or whatever. He was just replacing it with his own. And this woman found out, I think her name was like Jacoba or something like that. Jacoba, I think. She, by doing like a 23 and me, and she had like eight or nine siblings on there. And she was like, what is all this about? And she did some digging and it was like, uh, she found way more than she bargained for and ended up like connecting to, I think like a hundred, a hundred different people so far that this man has, um, I don't know how you'd call it, fathered, like without without these women's permission, like, unconsensually fathered. It's crazy. So, 
that one's a little bit better. Um, let's see if we can check out the thermal effect before we put... This brush is so bad. That's why it's going on really badly. <laughs> Pretend like I'm doing a good job, you guys. Pretend like I do this regularly. Let me let the second coat dry and then we'll, or let's do a second coat before we decide. Okay, so it is opaque in two coats, but it looks like crap because I just bumped it on a bunch of stuff. Um, I can't get it to change. I don't know what one is the hot and the cold state and sometimes I get like impatient about that. So we're just gonna add the shimmer in and then hopefully when I take some pictures, later on and put them in, you'll be able to see what it looks like. So let's put this, it's Aurora Candy Teal Blue Pink. This is a very dark purple. They weren't kidding when they said eggplant. So I don't know how this is gonna look, but we'll see. This color reminds me, every time I see an eggplant, cause we didn't eat eggplant growing up. I've, to me, this sounds so insane, but okay, listen, hear me out. There are rich people vegetables and then there are regular people vegetables and things like Brussels sprouts, right? To me, that's a rich people vegetable. Asparagus, that's a rich people vegetable. Green beans and potatoes, that's for normal people. That's what I grew up eating. That is like the most, ins um, that's one of the most un, like abnormal takes that I've ever given to my boyfriend. He was like, Hillary, what are you talking about? Because he was like talking about the vegetables he would eat growing up. I'm like, that's a rich people vegetable. What are you talking about? But I just feel like eggplants. <laughs> Or rich people vegetables. We didn't eat those growing up. And, um, or maybe I should just say, like, they're for cultured people. I feel like cultured people eat eggplants. I love eggplant now, but when I was a kid, we didn't eat that. And so my only association with eggplant is that one episode of Courage the Cowardly Dog, where he gets, like, I don't know if he got kidnapped? I can't remember. By a, by a bunch of living eggplants. And, um, wow, that shimmer got eaten up really fast. And, um, yeah, so that's what I think of when I think of eggplants is just that courage the cowardly dog getting kidnapped by eggplants. Okay. I think the lighting is just a little bit too dark in here, but you can kind of see it pulling through, but not much. And I had this same problem when I went over to Hillary of Happy Hillary's Nails house and we mixed up uh, our polish together. Um, we kept having to add just so much shimmer to get it to really appear. So yeah, yeah, we're just gonna do what we did every other time. Everyone's probably like, Hillary, stop putting the whole bag in. I don't know why I don't just do this from the beginning. Just mix the whole bag in, because I know I'm gonna. I like the colors together though. I didn't think that this blue would look as good with this purple as it does, but it does. Let's see. And then lately, as far as like music goes, I have been listening to a lot of Orville Peck, his newer album. Was it Bronco 1 and 2? I'm obsessed with Orville Peck. Like, I, I feel like, I don't know. I usually don't love modern country. I like older country. But I like him. I don't know if it's just his fun little flair. He sounds like... I feel like only three people have ever listened to this album, so only three people will ever get this reference. But he sounds like Elvis's country album when he sings. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I can definitely see that. Let's see if it translates on the nail. Um, but yeah, so Orville Peck, he's like kind of like a queer cowboy character. And um, he doesn't show his face. And, oh, wow, I really bumped that one. Um, he wears like this fringed mask and... I don't know, he's just fun. Just got a lot of fun songs. Ooh, okay, I like that. Um, so I've been listening to a lot of him. And then recently for, I don't know why, because this movie's been out for quite a while, I've been listening to the Encanto soundtrack like every day. I, I usually don't get hooked on, oh, that's a lie, I love show tunes. So I, say, I don't get hooked on soundtracks like that. When it comes to musicals, yeah, I, I guess I kind of do for like a brief period of time. Like... I just, I can't stop listening to it. Okay, I swear the shimmer is visible to the naked eye. I know you can't see it because the lighting is, I'm, I'm bad at lighting. But when I take the actual photos, you will see. It's like, um, I mean, you saw the color in the bag, but it, it got kind of like a aqua 
like an aqua sheen to it in this deeper purple and then hopefully I can show you what the what the um the thermal aspect looks like because I don't know like this is not an old kit I bought this in February or March so it's not like the the kit should have expired you know thermals do have a shelf life most people I think know that by now um typically websites will list them as like six months to a year but oftentimes they last longer um but I have some thermals that died maybe like and these were cheap thermals these were the Meyer brand thermals I think it took them a year and a half to two years to die fully and now they're just they're dead they're super dead but they're fine you know I still have them in my collection because I've never ever destashed anything <laughs> I don't know what to name this one like the other one I'm like yeah something to do with space and this one's kind of spacey too but I don't want to give like Kelly Marissa vibes you know I'm not trying to steal her thing um what is something that's like blue and purple a bruise <laughs> should I name this one after a bruise uh bruised ego I guess I don't know once you guys see the swatch photo, tell me what it's giving you, and then we can name this together. Ew, that looks so gross. You can kind of see it on the stick. Oh my god, you guys, I'm so hungry right now. I didn't eat much today, but like, all I can think about, and I don't want to eat these because they're so bad for you, but there's this syrup at the store, this like pancake syrup. And it's Fruity Pebbles flavored. And I finally caved and bought it. And then, because I did not feel like making pancakes or anything, like, I didn't want to put in effort. I just bought frozen waffles. And then, um, yeah, it's delicious. It's like, it's amazing. Oh, I just got pigment all over. I think you can kind of see. All right, let me reset and then we'll do the final one. Okay, and then the last one I want to make is a glow-in-the-dark polish, and it says start with half the bag, so we're going to listen, but we're going to dump the rest in later. Okay, I did not do as good of a job cleaning this out, because at this point, I'm a mess. I hope this one is not super boring compared to the last one. I just felt like chilling. I don't know. Maybe I won't post this. Maybe this is just cathartic this the rest of the base is like yeah okay that's all of it okay that's it that's it for my base and you can order more of this from their shop and there are other shops that sell this too um there is a shop that's like local to me it's called glitter unique i believe yeah glitter unique and that's what we use to make um make the polishes for like when I when I went over to Hillary's house and we used their stuff but yeah I guess we can toss that and then let's attempt to put half of this bag in but yeah I just I don't know I like it when like youtubers that I like just talk about like their actual life and like the things they're interested in because I just I'm nosy and I like to know <laughs> I like to know that stuff I don't know it's just like that kind of like, it's just interesting. I feel like it gives you insight into a person a little bit. So, um, but yeah, let's put half of this in. Do you guys watch, like, any kind of YouTube outside of nail YouTube? I think for a long time, when I first got on YouTube, all I watched was, like, nails. And then that turned into makeup. I think I was 22 at the time because that was when I first started wearing um, makeup and nail polish was when I was 22 years old. I waited a long time to get into stuff. And, um, I just didn't watch YouTube up to that point. And now I feel like it's like the main form of entertainment for me. I don't really, oh yeah, that's, that needs some orange in there. Um, I'm just not super interested all the time in watching, you know, like long form TV or whatever. Or movies, and so I watch just a lot of random YouTube stuff. And my favorite YouTuber, hands down, this is so dumb. His name is Ordinary Sausage, and he's this guy who talks, he sounds like Peter Griffin. Like, his voice straight up sounds like Peter Griffin. And he, I'm going to use this polish to try to tint the base. But he, um, 
he makes sausage out of just weird stuff. Like, he used an entire uh, KFC meal um, and turned it into a sausage. Oops, I spilled some. Um, he does, like, crazy expensive ones. Like, I think he did, like, a beef wellington sausage once. Like, but he's just, it's like a comedy one. And they're, like, really short. They're... No, none of them even really hit like the 10 minute mark, I think, but they're just like really funny to me. And my boyfriend, like I save them and I make my boyfriend watch them with me. And he's like, why are you so obsessed with this guy? And I'm like, I don't know. He's just really funny. He just seems like a, like a nice guy who's making weird internet content, which is all I want, right? Okay, this looks like, like a creamsicle. Okay, I like that. Let me add, let me just be psycho and add a couple more drops in okay that was a lot more than a couple drops Hillary get your life together that's probably going to destroy the color that I had oh no that's fine I don't know how opaque this one's going to be but yeah so I watched that do I watch anything else I watch a lot of true crime YouTube of course like I I watch a lot of that kind of stuff. Um, I'm really interested in true crime. I know that that is controversial for some people. Some people don't really like it, but I'm into it. Um, so I follow a few of like those channels. And then I still watch like quite a bit of makeup YouTube. And then a lot of makeup YouTubers have kind of converted themselves into more like lifestyle YouTubers. So like, it's not just makeup. I, hang on. Okay, I just smell that. It smells like, it smells like an egg. I was like, something smells like, like an egg, and it's, it's the nail polish. Don't smell nail polish, but, like, if you ever need nail polish to be smelled for some reason, just ask me, because I've killed enough of my brain cells with nail polish already. Why does it smell like eggs? What in the world? I, I think I'm going crazy. No. Hang on. Yeah, I don't know. See, I still got that kind of creamsicle color. I just don't hang on a second it's this this stuff it's it smells like uh you probably should not smell this which i just did you ever gotten like your hair like highlighted or colored or anything in any way and it's kind of got like that like rotten egg smell maybe i'm way off base like when you're under the uh, the head thing that the heat sh your head and like I don't know what it does it, it does something with the chemicals but that's what this smells like and here comes the lawnmower man so sorry if that noise bothers you but I can't fix it I, I feel like nobody actually cares about that sort of thing and then everybody on YouTube just apologizes for it for no reason oh that is a strong smell like I don't like that <laughs> let's see how jelly this is ooh that's super jelly I don't know. We might have to add something else to it to make it a little more interesting. I don't know. Let's wait and see what a second coat looks like and then decide how much more of that stamping polish I want to force in there. Okay, so after two coats, it's pretty jelly-ish, which I don't hate, but I went into the bathroom and turned off all the lights <laughs> to see how much it glowed. Um, and it's not super bright. So my thinking is the more glow in the dark powder, the brighter it is, right? That can't be wrong. That can't be flawed thinking. Oh, so as I'm sure you guys predicted from the very beginning, we're going to do that. Okay. Let's mix it up. <laughs> And then I realized also what this smells like. It's not, well, it is kind of like the hair foils at the salon, but it's also like, like, you ever dyed Easter eggs? Like the vinegary smell of the, like, egg dye? That's kind of what this smells like, the more I'm thinking about it. So that's kind of wild. Um, I just feel like I should add a couple more drops of orange. Oh, you guys, this week has been just crazy. Like, my job is kind of... Oops, that was more than a couple drops every time I do that. My job's been a little bit crazy. Um, people are just, like, quitting all over the place. And 
So guess who all of those accounts fall on when somebody quits? It's Hillary, you're right, you guessed correctly. Um, so that's been <laughs> ramping up and then it's just like, I don't know, I mean my real life hasn't been that crazy, it's just like, I just feel exhausted every day, all the time, I'm just tired. And I just wanna hang out and do nothing at some point in my life, but everything is so busy, everything's happening all the time. I'm excited for today though. Okay, that's a little bit more opaque. I'm excited for today because my boyfriend's running to H Mart on the way home because I ran out of gochujang and I also ran out of anchovies and I'm gonna make kimchi chige when he comes home, which is my favorite or one of my favorite Korean dishes. It's actually the first Korean dish I ever ate. Um, we went when he took me to a Korean restaurant and it's funny because the entire first year he and I dated, we never ever ate Korean food. And I didn't really think anything of it. He didn't really talk about that kind of stuff. And then uh, I guess one day, I, I don't know who brought it up, but he was like, are you sure you wanna go to a Korean restaurant? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, I don't think you're gonna like it. It's too weird. Wow, that was rude, my guy. And I was like, no, no, let's go, let's go. And I, go away. Why, this, you gotta mow right outside my window? But yeah, he, he took me to a Korean restaurant and it wasn't like Korean barbecue or anything, which I think most is the most accessible to like the West. We just got soups. And if you know anything about me, I'm, I'm like the soup queen. All I do is eat soup. I love soup. So, I mean, once I found out that like 90% of like the menu was soups, I was sold. And here we are, uh, like eight years later. Okay, that was super gummy. I should have waited longer in between coats. But I think that with two to three coats, this will be opaque. And it does look like an orange like dreamsicle. So I think that's what I'm gonna call this one. But yeah, so now, I've like made it my mission to learn how to cook as like many Korean dishes as I can because you know he grew up thinking that he was never gonna like have that when he got older if he married like an American woman and I just I'm like that's lame we're not gonna do that we're gonna we're gonna make Korean dishes as often as possible but the annoying thing is so Korean food has typically a lot of ingredients like they're all staples right they're like it's all stuff that you have in your cabinet it's very easy well you might not have it in your cabinet but once you start cooking korean dishes that you will but it's just like a lot of different spices and like vegetables and things like that and my boyfriend is the type of person that if something requires more than two to three ingredients he's like this is too complicated and i'm just like i can tell i can tell that you are a spoiled only child <laughs> because anytime i go to make like kimchi chige or anything like that it's got like, you know, 10 to 12 ingredients. He's like, this is too complicated, Hillary. Like, why don't we just go to the restaurant and order it? I'm like, because I can make it at home for cheap. I don't know. He just, anything with more than two steps, he's like, no, we can't do that. That's too complicated. Okay. I've gotten orange polish everywhere. I can't believe I made an orange. I did not think I was going to make an orange polish, but it glows in the dark, which is fun. Should I have added, I don't know. I don't think I should have added glitter. I think it's fine the way it is. Don't add glitter. That sounds insane. Okay, so I dropped one. So this one was not as chaotic or exciting, I'm sure, as the last one. I don't know, maybe I'm low energy. Maybe I'm just boring today. But we've got this one that is the magnetic that kind of looks like Oh my gosh, like a nebula type thing. Pretty cool. And then we have this one, which hopefully when I take the picture, you'll be able to see there is definitely a shimmer in it. And then this is our like orange dreamsicle glow in the dark. This will be fun. Um, maybe I'll put it on my toes. I'm not going to post a picture of my toes though. That is only for, only for paying customers. No, I'm just kidding. I don't sell feet pics. My feet are disgusting. Um, but yeah, so those are my three polishes. Let me know what you guys think of for names. Um, I guess this was the first one, wasn't it? For one, two, and three, shoot your ideas down below. And hopefully this time I'll remember to tell you guys what I named them. So with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of like low-key video. 
I thought about doing some like just chill paint my nails with me and like talk about stuff and if you guys are interested in that I think you have said in the past maybe I can post every once in a while like oh what topic should we talk about and, and do something like that and I am going to kind of look into as far as stickers go I mentioned in a previous video and a lot of people it was like kind of like a resounding yes so I will see what kind of stickers I can get cooked up for you guys but with all that said I will see you guys in the next one bye